Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with Grand Cross. After not doing a video of it for, I think, oh, it's been basically a year. So yeah, I came back to Grand Cross after quitting it early on when I failed to get Red Merlin way, way, way back in the day. I came back for one reason only. That was... Jim Hopper <laughs> from Stranger Things. So today's video, I'm just going to be playing a little bit of PvP and kind of talking about my return to Grand Cross and kind of how I've been dealing with it pretty recently. I wanted to give some, because let me tell you right now, Grand Cross is not an easy. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. That's it. You don't have to worry about anything else. I just hope you like this video. Um, so yeah, Grand Cross, this is a strange beast because I really like playing Grand Cross in terms of the combat itself. By the way, I mainly play a normal. I haven't touched Elite because I think you need, not that you need, but you need a little bit more gear. I'm not really 100% on my gear right now, so I've been ignoring it for the time being. Um, I'll eventually get to it. But yeah, for right now, I'm just in Gold League chilling. Um, so I'm gonna hit search and see how it goes. All my losses anytime I come here is when I fight someone who has like, way more team cc than me and they're just better at the game than i am um so yeah i think it's very fun in terms of the actual gameplay and then building up characters i think actually kind of sucks it's always it was that that was my problem with it when it launched too and it feels like it's gotten a little bit better in some regards to that but it feels basically the same uh i did join unfortunately right before level 90 was announced to come to na oh they wow they beat me in cc so yeah, this guy has a little bit more than me. I think we should be fine, though. Um, he doesn't have the one or uh, Goddess Elizabeth, as far as I can see, so I think we'll be fine. Actually, we'll see. It depends on who he targets, because... Oh, by the way, I should have said my team. My team is the Twin Maids from ReZero, uh, Eleven from Stranger Things, and Jim Hopper from Stranger Things. It's basically a collab team. I'm not saying it's the greatest team in the world, but it is the team I like to use, because it's a lot of fun. And I have a big... Oh, so he's building up that, uh... His big dude right there. He knows that Jim Hopper is the threat. Okay. Let's see how we can do this. So we're gonna obviously target him. No, actually, I'm gonna target this little guy. Because, if I'm being honest, at the moment, not feeling the heat from... Um... Damn, this guy is much better than me. These dudes are not taking any damage at all. Uh, this might be a little bit of a problem. Even with 11 here, though. What was I saying? Yeah, I, I, I currently don't fear uh, Big Mustache Man. I forget what his name was. Fucking, how do I forget his name? D who decided that? How do I not know his name? So that was the other reason why I stopped playing Grand Cross, is that I don't actually have a huge affinity for Seven Deadly Sins. I watched Season 1... Um, enjoyed my time with Season 1, but didn't feel the need to go out and watch Season 2. I have my favorites for them, for sure, but it's not something that I'm actively looking to constantly watch or something. Okay, let's see. So that's annoying <laughs> that Arthur has that on him. Let me see here. I think I'll go with this again. Then I'll go with that. And then... Because if he dies, he'll get the ability to get his... No, he was not gonna die, man. These dudes are tanky as hell. Not anymore, but... Okay, perfect. I don't want him to get his uh, ult card, so he's not gonna get it. Hopefully. This is actually a decent... Oh, no. It's bad for my 11 there. Very bad for my 11, actually. It depends on what the three card here. If it's a support one, I think I'm kind of boned here. Oh, thank god it's not. It's just that move. Thank god. If it was another move, I would be kind of screwed. He's kind of realized that the... I think it's Rem is the blue hair one. Is a little buff. So he's trying to take care of her, but... Might be a little bit too late. Hopefully it's... Dang. Okay, so let me see. I think I'm gonna go here. Here. And if you're... Yeah, here. I see what he's doing here, which is basically trying to get all three of my team down in one go, and I think it's going to work out. Because I think Eleven's pretty close to dying. 
And that's very unfortunate for me. And somehow this man is just non-stop healing, which I have not noticed. Until now. But he can only use two moves now, and if he doesn't take care of Eleven, it's going to be a big problem for him. And then he's going to be so focused on Eleven that hopefully I'll be able to use Jim. And yeah, this is the part where I say this is why I really like this game, is because all the thought put into it. Right here, like me thinking about this. So let me go here. Use good old Jim's move. I'm pretty sure it doesn't target AoE. I'm also pretty positive Jim negates it. But hey, let's find out if I'm wrong about this move he does, because he's- yeah, okay, thank god. Remove stances. Basically done. This is GG. This is a pretty good match. For someone in my early league, I'll remind you again. Um, and boom. Alright, not bad, not bad. Who is even the MVP of this match? No, that makes sense. She deals a lot of damage. Just a non-stop buttloads of damage. So let's go in again. Just to quickly show the team, because I showed it in the little bit, but I'll show it here. And if you're unaware of how Seven Deadly Sins works out, please, for the love of God, go to this guy. Okay, yeah, so these are the, the three teams right here. I got... What is your name? Rem. Okay, you're Rem. I got Rem in the front, Eleven, Jim Hopper, and then... I want to call her something else. Rem and Ram. Okay. Ram is in the back, buffing up my girl here, which makes her super strong. As you can see here, these two are being buffed. I haven't started working on Eleven yet. Um, it's unfortunate I was only able to get one copy of them. On the reason I got super screwed on the Stranger Things collab banner. Holy crap! I basically only got I got J Will. Jim was the free, and I had to use the pity on Eleven here. On ReZero, it was a little bit better, but all my dupes were of Beatrice, which is apparently the worst of the, the bunch in terms of actual units, and uh, Fat King, just nothing, non-stop Fat Kings. So yeah, so there's something about the other one of the other reasons I stopped playing Grand Cross was the summoning. It was bad. <laughs> it's very bad. Uh, now, I think that Grand Cross actually has a pretty good pity system. I'm not here to criticize the pity system. Some who have probably been playing it longer have a better idea of how it could be improved or how it could be, you know, one of those things or something. Damn, she really got three? That's crazy. Oh, she's dead. If she survives this, I'll be very surprised. Um, yeah, this is... Yeah, that's death. That's death staring you right in the face. Oh, that's 11! He's using blonde 11. I didn't even realize it. Oh, this dude. I hate this dude. Um, the hell was I talking about? So yeah, summoning on it, on this game, it's not fun. Not very fun at all. It does give you a lot of diamonds, but I feel like if you're not saving for pity, there's actually no love for you in any form of the game waiting normally. This could be very bad. Nope, he targeted the wrong unit. Girl, that is not... Oh, that's bad for you. Let me tell you right now, because... You should have been targeting Jim. We start with this one. Go here. And what I love about Jim here is that Jim Hopper is absolutely the MVP backbone of this team. There's no denying his presence on the field makes everything so much better. He has that ability which gives weak point, which makes collab characters do more damage. He has the ability to stun. He has the ability to dissolve, deplete ultimate gauge. He like literally does everything. To the point where if you're not targeting him, I think you're making a mistake. The 11 is the bait here. Everyone goes for the 11 because 11 can deal a lot of damage, but let me tell you right now. The real move is to go for Jim. I am going to use this just in case she survives. She's not going to survive this. But it's okay because I'm going to shoot this guy. I hate his ultimate anyway, so like, he's going to die at the end of this turn and do the poison. So yeah, I'm playing Grand Cross. Um... I don't know how long it'll stick. You can just die. Oh, he's immune to debuffs. Damn. Let me summon my giant Horn of the Unicorn real quick. Horn of the Unicorn. Go! Later, dude. Go to hell. Hate you. Yeah. Grand Cross. 
I'm gonna keep playing it for the time being. I'm enjoying my time in Return Back. There are obviously things still wrong with it, but as long as I have Jim Hopper, I think I can stick with it for a little bit longer. So, yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Until next time, you guys have a good day. Peace out.